This scene took me four days to complete and in this video I'm gonna break down how I created it. The first step is to create the boat. For that I'll add a cube and scale it to be roughly the right size, which apparently is 20 meters in length. Then I'll start matching it to the general shape I need and add a cabin as well. I only care about the front of the boat though because everything else won't be visible to the camera. But once I'm happy with the blockout, I can start to add some detail. So that means adding better planks and cross beams for the boat hull, adding a door and window to the cabin, modeling some railings and plopping down some metal beams on the top. Then lastly, to fix the problem of the boat looking too empty and unused, I'll add some decorations. I'm pretty happy with that. So now it's time to do the texturing, for which I'll start with the hull. Just putting a simple plank texture onto it and trying to roughly line up the details in the texture with the ones I modeled. The exact same was done for the cabin and deck. For the window I obviously used a glass material but then tried to make it look dirty by using a noise texture to mix in some brown color. But that looked pretty fake because it looks like that standard noise texture pattern. So the solution is to just switch to better surface imperfection textures, in this case from ambient CG. While working on the window I also added some water droplets by using another texture to mix in a glossy shader on top of the dirt. Now that should be the end of the texture step, but I feel like all the materials are still looking too clean. So to fix that I'll add some mold by mixing in a darker color in areas with a lot of ambient occlusion. To level this up a bit more I'll make the AO a bit less perfect by messing with the normals the node expects. I also made some free note groups that do this in a smaller package, link in the description. Additionally, another thing that I found to help with realism is to vary the roughness of all the materials in the scene with a noise texture. So this is before and this is after. And with that, the boat is almost done. Because the last thing I want to do is to add a bit of snow. First, I put planes in the places where I want the buildup to be a bit thicker and then add a particle system of meta balls onto them. This gave me a real nice snow for the creases. For the rest, I'll either just pass the albedo through a color ramp and use that to mix in a snow shader or alternatively I'll use a noise texture to mix in that same snow if I'm trying to get a bit more coverage. But that's finally it for the boat. So let's move on to the main scene, which is going to have a couple of elements. The first one being the atmosphere. For this I'll use a trick that I've used in I think a lot of my renders actually, which is to mix a principal volume with an emission shader to get that real nice overcast, cold or sometimes even creepy look. You can really do a lot with this setup. Then next for an arctic ocean scene we need an arctic ocean. So to make it I'll add an ocean modifier to any random object, crank the resolution to a huge number like 32 and play with the choppiness, scale and alignment to dial in the look. Then for the material I'll start with a simple glass shader together with a volume absorption. Afterwards I'll also mix in some foam using the foam data layer that the ocean bake provided. And with that the ocean material is looking pretty good but it's still missing those last 20 to get those, I'll just use a noise texture as bump for the glass and foam. And with that, it suddenly looks like we have a much higher resolution ocean than we actually do. And now the ocean is done. But it's not of much use because it's only a 50 by 50 meter chunk. And using this high of a resolution for the whole scene would be oh massively overkill. Not that my computer can't do it. So I duplicate it a bunch and with every duplicate I reduce the resolution. The next element for the scene is the cliffs or glaciers. I'm not really sure. For them I first looked around for suitable pre-made models but couldn't find what I was looking for. So I just create them myself. And recently after being pretty confused by them for a long time I've started to use geometry nodes a lot. So that's what I'll use to make myself a cliff generator. The brief overview is that it takes a plane, displaces it using a noise texture but ignores the borders so that they won't get moved upwards. Then after that I'm just adding some additional warping and that's it. If anyone wants to copy the setup, here's a screenshot. Then I did the texturing and brought the cliffs into the main scene where I positioned them way in the distance with a small gap between them, just to have an additional focal point. Now in the current state I'm pretty happy with the scene, so I'll post it to Reddit to gather some feedback. And feedback I got. So let's go through a distilled version. The first one is that the scene lacks a story or a character. And I completely agree. So I went on SketchUp because I'm not making another character that would take way too long and found this awesome model by Chloe Robin Smith. Once in Blender it's gonna look great. But first let's give it an animation using Mixamo. So let's search. Hmm no not that one. <laughs> not that one either. Mm, yeah this one seems nice. 
So let's bring it in and add a hair particle system all over the character to make it look a bit more real. Then I'll just position him at the front of the boat. The next feedback that I got was that the boat needs some icicles. I wasn't sure about this at first because in the references none of them had icicles, but it kind of makes sense. So I'll just follow this Blender Made Easy tutorial and that looks great. Lastly, some people said that the snow looks too flat and looking at it, I do agree. So I'll just use the snow masks for some displacement as well. But with that, let's render. Yeah, out of VRAM, yeah. Okay, so I just split the scene into multiple layers, composite them back together, add some more fog motion blur, give the clips more contrast, and add temporal denoising and some film emulation. Both available on my Gumroad for just $1 each. But with that, the scene is done. So after pushing it those last few percentage points with color grading, here is the final render. Thanks for watching.